Next up, we're going to go to Elizabeth Howell with Space.com. Liz? Hello. Welcome home. Um, this one's for Nicole. Do you mind reflecting a little bit upon your journey that brought you to be the first Native American woman in space and how, uh, while you were up there, you were trying to talk to various groups um, to inspire the next generation? Thanks. Absolutely. You know, my journey, I think, is is one that kind of uh, evolved as I grew. And so I didn't have it all figured out when I was young and I didn't know, um, you know, really what it meant to be an astronaut, who became an astronaut or how that even um, was possible. And so it wasn't until later on in life that I really started considering that career path and looking at the different opportunities. Uh, so I think it's really important um, for all of us astronauts to share our journey. Uh, we all have unique journeys on how we became an astronaut. Uh, we have all unique dreams and aspirations. But the one thing that we all share in common is that we're very passionate about what our, our jobs were prior to becoming an astronaut. We're very passionate about the work that we do on board the International Space Station. And so that communication of our journey and our excitement and our love for what we do, I think is very important to help inspire the next generation. If a young child can look up at you know, at the screen and see us floating and see us sharing our stories, whether you come from Russia or Japan or the North or, or California, wherever your background is, whatever your race, your religion, anything, you can, you can share in that joy and maybe you see something in that astronaut that's sharing their story, uh, something that you connect with. And maybe that's the one thing that will help motivate a child to, to reach for those dreams. Maybe that's the one thing that will give them that additional discipline they need to not only establish that dream, but then go out and be successful in, in conquering that dream. So I think that's something that we all share in common, and it's very important. Next up, let's go again to Elizabeth Howell with Space.com. Liz? Thanks for finding me again. Um, this would be especially for Nicole and Anna, I suppose, but anybody can chime in. Can you just talk about the significance of uh, Women's History Month and about the contributions of diversity in making space a fairly awesome place? Thank you. Begin. Um, of course. Uh, so I think it's important that we celebrate um, each type of unique event. Um, as I spoke to you before, it's really so that you can kind of share that journey and help inspire the younger generation. I think the uh, the diversity that we have in the U.S. astronaut corps and in our international astronaut and cosmonaut corps is, is really incredible. It's a great reflection of the diversity that we have on planet Earth, and that's so important to recognize. Uh, we're, I think, getting to the point, too, where that is not really as much news as it used to be in the past, right? The, the fact that a, a woman was flying to a space or that a woman was doing a spacewalk, uh, you know, fortunately, we're, we're finally progressing, I think, enough to, to an era where that's common nature. Um, you're going to see with the Artemis mission, uh, when we go to the moon, you're going to see, you know, a women, you're going to see people of color, you're going to see all different types of people uh, be a part of that Artemis mission. And that is really reflecting who we are as a human species. Uh, and that includes all of our international partners as well. And so I see this as a, as a great uh, thing to celebrate. Of course, we're not totally there yet, right? There's still areas in the world, um, areas in the United States where we have barriers and, and we're working to overcome those. But it's great to also celebrate the progress that we've made where it is the, the capable and the certified that are selected uh, for a mission and to uh, execute that mission. Никола говорит абсолютно правильно. Я могу от себя добавить, что человечество на Земле представлено двумя полами, мужским и женским. И это нормально, когда э, два этих представителя человечества развиваются в космической отрасли и представляют ее в космосе. Мало того, что... Ань, давай. I fully subscribe to everything that Nicole says, and I would add that here on Earth we have two genders, and so it makes sense that representatives from both of them are up in space developing space and exploring space together. В каждом человеке все знают, есть определенное соотношение энергии и инь-янь, если мы говорим об этом. И в целом многие говорят и доказано, что наиболее полноценные рабочие команды и экипажи, и группы людей, где есть определенное соотношение как мужского, так и женского гендера, они друг друга уравновешивают, дополняют, украшают и более эффективный результат работы, когда идет она совместная. 
and there is this concept of the yin and the yang, and it is well known that different teams, groups, partnerships are at their best when there is a representation of the yin and the yang, of the female and of the male. Teams are more effective, they are more successful, and they are more productive as groups. Более того, если мы говорим о том, что идет э, вопрос развития человечества как в дальнейшем заселении каких-то других планет, переселения человечества, то мы должны готовить оба существа, как мужскую, так и женскую особь, к тому, чтобы они были готовы э, переместиться, э, в дальний, э, у, участвуя в, дальних, в длительных космических полетах на дальние планеты и быть способными и работоспособными э, к дальнейшему развитию и продолжению рода человечества. Поэтому оба пола необходимо, чтобы участвовали в космической программе. And if we're talking about developing humanity in other planets and extra long space travel to those other planets, then it makes all the more sense to prepare both men and women, males and females, to go to those planets, to be ready to be strong to be to have high levels of endurance so that they are functioning well when they reach those planets and that's why it makes sense to have both representatives do space exploration